Welcome to DataWiz. Let us learn about data validation in this video. Data validation basically a feature in MS Excel which restricts the type of data or the value of data that user enters into a cell. To use data validation we will go in the ribbon. Here it is data then data validation. There will be a pop-up. In the pop-up, there are three different tabs, settings, input message, error alert. Setting has different type of restriction with it itself. First is the whole number, decimal, list, date, time, text length, custom. Input message is basically a message that uh, reminds a that reminds that what kind of data needs to put it there. Error alerts gives an, us a, an gives us an alert that tells us that there's something wrong and we need to check the data. So let us check one of them, like whole number. So here we will uh, use between. We are putting uh, 12 to 25. In input message, we will write something like. So here we see that uh, an information input message is already there. Uh, it says that currently enter only whole number between 15 to 25. Like here we have put data 16, it will accept, 20, it will accept. Whenever we will put any data which is less than 15 or greater than 25, it will give us a prompt like kindly check the data, it should be between 15 to 25. Same as like it will put data 26, it will give us the same prompt. We are using data validation in the same way for other also like decimal, date, time, text string, custom. Here is a special one, this is a list. In the list item, In this item, basically we are putting uh, different kind of entries uh, and it will show uh, as a drop down box and we can select any one of from the drop down box. So here we will go in the list. There are two different methods for uh, creating this drop down list. First is by putting manually the names of in the source bar like so here it gives us a drop down list like IT admin whenever we will put any kind of entry apart from that like it gives us a prompt so there is another method for creating this uh, drop down list is by selecting the num the items from the same sheet or from different sheets 
here we have a list of A4 to A9. We will select this. Now we also need to change the message like whole number. So here we are ready. So we have a different drop down list that will give the same message IT admin operation HR quality training. And there is a message that says that can't be select from the drop down list only. If we will put any data like gives us prompt like this there are different uh, different uses of uh, data validation the basic I use was list so hope by this video I was able to clarify data validation thank you for watching my video kindly share it and subscribe our YouTube channel